He hides under there because you, little bastard, try to steal it from him, don't you? You know you're guilty. Where'd you put yours? You hit it because you want another. I know you. Chunky, oh no, you got it right there. All right, so the boys will play with their treats and I will go play some PLO. Enjoy, kids, enjoy. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> okay, everybody, day two, Pot Limit Omaha. And unlike the other tournaments where you can late reg, start of day two, this one has three additional hours, two levels, but they're 90 minutes where you can re-enter. And part of the reason in PLO, you, you know, you allow re-entry is because it's such a high volatility game where equities run close and there's certain spots where you're just, you know, you're cooler to put all your chips in. Um, we've been managing really, really well in the four hours that we did play, uh, just avoiding, you know, traps. And I really just, how do I explain it? I mean. I steadily chipped up with very little risk, you know, small ballish kind of thing. PLO is a game you can go that route. You can limp uh, in this game. There's a lot of spots where that makes sense. So uh, we'll do that when necessary. We'll raise when we're supposed to. We'll do all the things. Oh, I didn't mention this last night, but I, you saw my table of death that I started at. It was like brutal. And I moved to a much softer table, which allowed me to chip up. In today's table, I believe I have Tommy Lee, the PLO crusher on my right. I can't remember who else, but at least he's on my right. That's a good thing. So we'll do our best here. I don't want to have to revive because here's the thing. Uh, if you guys have a piece of me on pocket fives, you got a piece of this bullet. Second bullet, that's all me. So let's do it on the first bullet. I got, I got a new hoodie. Well, not a new hoodie, but check this out. So like we're going GG poker, of course, because GG poker is the nuts. But the little black on black with like these, actually they're, they're like raised. I'm like I feel like I'm touching my titties right now. Mm. I love poker. <laughs> I love poker. Remember that, Chow Jack? Poker's nice. I love to play poker. I love poker. Yeah, I do. I love poker. So let's go play some. All right, it is 1.30 p.m. I always get here 20, 30 minutes early. It's nice to have the RV. I don't mind being early. So I leave my house around 105, 110 for a 2 p.m. start. Only takes me about 17 minutes to get here. Uh, but yeah, I have the luxury of this bad boy, the RV. So I don't feel like I'm standing around doing nothing, but did, you know, I like to leave really just in case there's traffic because I'm a responsible human being. Let me talk to you a little bit about fantasy hockey and then we'll be done for the day, but I have a game tonight, so let's take a look. All right, so there you see the lineups, okay? Here's my lineup, here's his lineup for tonight. I'm playing against Shoot Loose. Uh, one of the rule changes we made because of COVID and all the weird stuff is normally, you know, you put a player in, if he doesn't play, you're shit out of luck, you know? So you have game time decisions, maybe you, you know, you don't know if the guy's playing, you go another direction. But we added, because of COVID and stuff, we added what we call a taxi dra a taxi team. So basically, if one of your guys doesn't play, next up on your list goes in there. So we're not sure. I'm not sure if uh, Blake Wheeler will be in the lineup tonight, but we're going to put him in there as a placeholder. And if not, uh, oh, and also Ryan Ellis. So Ryan Ellis probably doesn't get in. And then we have a replacement. Who the hell's my replacements? I don't even fucking, I didn't even look at it. Okay, anyway. Uh, Silverberg looks like he's hurt. He would be next up, I think. But then we've also got Dylan Dubé, who hasn't gotten a lot of action on our season so far. So if Wheeler doesn't play, that probably puts Dubé in there. And who the hell is my fourth D-man? I got Ellis probably won't play. I have another one. Who the hell is it? All right, I'm gonna have to look. All right, let's take a look at my lineup sheet, spreadsheet, August 28th. Okay, so I got Clem Costin also I could use. Ryan O'Reilly over here, he is uh, in COVID protocol, Silverberg. We got Dubé down here. And then on defense, uh, El oh yeah, Susie is the one. So Carson Susie would take place of Ryan Ellis, which is a big fucking drop off. Yeah, this is fun. I update this all the time because I'm an absolute fucking nerd. <laughs> Here we go. We got, we got kings and tens, and kings and fours, and a flush draw against this man. Can he lose? So far, so far. All right, full house. You didn't need a flush. 
I didn't need the flush. All right. 25. I'll tell you why we only are doubling up for, what is that, 38, 40,000. I'll tell you about that one in the RV, but I'm happy to have it. This is 40. I have pretty much everything. Oh, you got three. Oh, you just have a queen eye flush draw? Oh, you have nuts. And four seven. I have a straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four yeah. straight, you have a straight. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck, I didn't even see that was a possibility. I lost? No. <laughs> I don't accept. <laughs> I did, yeah? Don't pay him, Oh, my God. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back for more. All right, we're in section here. The 25K, the rebuy's not working, whatever. I got hands to tell you about for sure. Um, trying to rebuy right now. Let's just do it now. What the hell is the difference? Let's do the breakdown. What the hell? Where's my phone? This was fucking unreal. How much money was in that last pot? 100, 200, almost 300k pot. <laughs> you saw the hand. I have King 10, 3, 4 double suited on the button. It was limp, 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 limp. I limp. I limp. Comes deuce 5, 6 with two diamonds and a heart. I have 10, 3 of diamonds, the nuts straight, and backdoor hearts. Bad call, I raise pot, call, call. Turns a jack of hearts, now I have two fucking flush draws. Check to me, or then he bombs, I call. He has queen, queen, seven, four. So he needs to catch a diamond. I have two of them, so there's seven left. And he needs to catch a three or a heart. Three or an eight, that's not a heart. That's four more, so I guess he had 11 outs. But fuck, what a brutal run out. I mean, it's just like so painful. But here's the hand that I really got fucked on, okay? This one is just so dirty, okay? So this hand, the blinds are 1,500, 3,000, okay? Under the gun opens, Ian O'Hara to 7,000. Under the gun plus two flats. Then Joe Hashem with just 17K in the cutoff, he goes all in, right? So I'm in the small blind now and I have a seven of spades with two kings. Okay, well, I mean, I do have an ace blocker, only three combos of aces had me beat. There was only a flat. If the under guy, under the gun player has it, such is life. Maybe Joe has it. If he does, that's okay. He's very short. So I pot it to 68,000. First player thinks, folds. The second player who flatted goes all in. Oh my God. For 182,000, okay? So of course now I've already put 68 in. I have to call it off. And I couldn't possibly be in worse shape. <laughs> Joe Hashem had the king, king, three, four. Uh, and the guy who with the razor had ace, ace, three, four with three, four spades. And I have ace, king, king, seven with spades. So the only way I can win this pot if it comes a seven and a seven, 10 jack, queen, or spades. I was 11% equity. The guy got in 70% three ways. That's very rare. All right, so we're going to get right back in. No rest, no for the wary. And we're going to give it a shot on bullet number two. All right, rebuys are over. 200 players. We have our starting stack on the second bullet. Um, over 200 people, it's 25 KPLO. Not gonna lie, it was about 45 minutes ago since you last, so I did it. Still steaming over the two hands today. I mean, just absolutely, like, so the Joe Hash man, right? If he would've just had a stack, he could just fold my hand pretty well. You guys get 17K, Ray's coming, How's, and every, you know what I can't remember? I can't remember the last time in PLO that I raised with Kings with an ace and didn't run into the fucking aces. It's so bizarre how often that seemed to have happened to me in those spots. And then of course, the the last one with Sam. I mean, Jesus, flopped the nuts, two flush draws. He's goofing around in there, fucking queen eye flush draw. And I'm... <laughs> we gotta let it out, you know? Cause we gotta reset our mind and do our best here. Still plenty of play. We're gonna have 30 big blinds right now. Right? Got plenty of play, plenty of opportunity. Because even after I lost that first pot, I got down to 50,000. You saw me double kings and fours against kings and tens in a flush draw. I doubled that one. And then right after that, with my 100K, I got it in with that king 10, 3, 4. I would have had two, almost 300K. So it can happen quickly in PLO. We're hoping that this next couple levels, we uh, have good fortune, as they say. Or do they say? I don't know. All right, so he raised, he raised. I did not three bet the hand, I just called. Just trapped my man with ace, queen, four, eight, but he didn't do it. So he's all in, we're gonna gamble, we have to call. Get him, Daniel, get we him, have, Daniel. He has a king eye flush on a pair of deuces. 
So we have the best hand with queens, but we don't want a heart. An ace is fine. We don't want a king or a heart or a deuce or a nine. A few outs. Okay, so far so good. You got diamonds now? No, no, no diamonds. Okay, let's see, Jeff. I think they knew it was a heart when you dropped it. It's so stupid. What do you want me to do? I got no more chips, I don't think. I don't think I got more chips. It's so fucking stupid. The three hands I lost today, I would want to do what Phil Hummett was saying with fire and ice to this fucking place after today. Holy f***. Catch a yeah, yeah. What can I do? Such is the situation. Holy f So, you play poker for a living? You chose to play a game where, in many fucking situations, <laughs> skill is useless. Absolutely is fucking useless. Hey, that doesn't matter. Okay. That hand. What am I supposed to do? Nothing would have mattered. Nothing would have changed. Just, I got a good hand. He's got an okay hand. I lose. F this fucking shit. Oh, fuck me, man, and these fucking flip spots. Yes. Fucking hard, of course, in the river. How the f did I lose these three pots today? Holy shit, did I get fucked so hard. All right, hockey in the trailer, fantasy shit, break, fucking break. Mm, so fucking steamed after that one. The way that I went out, holy shit. Fucking nuts straight with two flush draws, dick. Fucking top pair, queen eye flush draw. Best hand, got the ace blocker, fucking turn good. <laughs> Shit on the river, fucking hard came. What the fuck's going on? I mean, really, what the fuck? So, my venting will be fine in a few hours, but it's gonna take a few. Holy fuck. <laughs> All right, got a solid nap in, got a coffee brewing about six o'clock right now, watching some hockey. Dylan Dubage, straight trolling me right now, just scored another goal, we did not use him, remember? He did that last game too, two assists, did not use him. He's trying to earn a job with the Chief Thief. Here's the, th remember I told you earlier about that taxi order thing though? So now, the Blake Wheeler game, the Winnipeg hasn't started yet. So, I'm hoping he don't play, because if he don't play, Dubé play. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, we're chilling. Gonna play the nine game when this coffee gives us that boost of energy that we need. There is a re-entry, so we don't want to max late red. We definitely got to get in there before before that, uh, just in case bad things happen. All right, 7.30 in the PM, level five is about to start. I feel good, feel fresh. The ups and downs of the World Series of Poker are real. I'm back, good news and fantasy. Seems like we got it handled, thanks to Dubé jumping in the lineup we also got a goal and an assist from couturier so we got to fade his big boys which are kopitar dustin brown but we got a nice lead calgary goalies once again eh i got calgary vegas and islander goalies and calgary's been great fantastic they're gonna get some starts on the cheap thieves all right we are going in now to play nine game it's essentially eight game but they add deuce to seven single draw which i'm very comfortable in as you know I uh, have, oh, I forgot my bottle of water. Let's go get one. Um, as you know, obviously we just came eight in that. And uh, I really like this mix a lot because you have a lot of limit players who play, who when the big bet comes, they're like, oh, oh my God, I'm so scared. But then on the other side, you have some big bet players who they kind of go a little loosey goosey, if you will, in the big bets to try to get some chips. So when you're um, an all around athlete like yours truly, who can play big bet and limit that bodes well there is one re-entry in this as i mentioned so that's why we're gonna go in now run up a big stack of chips and uh, oh yeah listen oh there was a little snafu the other day in the uh, if, if you if you bought a piece of me in the single draw on pocket fives that was my second bullet as i mentioned in the vlog so hopefully today for those of you that bought on pocket fives by the way, everyone who wants a piece of me, you're gonna have to go to Pocket Fives and just be ready. After the vlogs release, boom, packages go up. So you gotta be quick. Fast fingers gets the prize. Let's play some poker. All right, this is my new table. I'm making a recommendation, okay? Because it's this dude, this dude, Yuri over here. Oh, we got a new guy. Are you good? Oh shit, you're good too. Why don't we just hang out, guys? Just look at each other, discuss things. We don't need to play. What are you gonna do? It's up to you. All right, we're folding to the money. 
This is the yeah, yeah. What are you doing? It's right. single draw. Uh, oh, no, I was no, asking. No. <laughs> he tried to get him on the yeah, technicality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're playing single oh, yeah. draw to start. I'm going to raise this guy's ass. Oh, he's got problems. He's got problems. You see it. You see it, guys. I've been watching the strat. I've been watching. We bluffed the big ringer, pair of nines, baby. <laughs> bluffed the big ringer. Ah, I had a good hand. Come on, come on. I had a good hand. You have that beat. You didn't have the better. Ten draw on the muck. There you go. Give me my chips. Let's go. Having fun. All right, next. We got to get that in the vlog on record. We, I asked him. He's not good. Not good. Not good. And Herman verified. Not good. Not good. Genuinely not good. All right. You get more if you want. Thanks for joining us. We'll go ahead and deal the cards. Then. It's bad. Let's see. You get another. The next thing will be the hand to be like, look, he's really not good. Okay. What's your worst game? What's your best game? Uh, this is my best game. Start eight. Okay. And my worst game is no limit singles. Oh, we just played that. Yeah. So okay. Perfect. You're just gonna fold a lot. Yeah, I just fold. That's fair. All right. So, not a great table. Not a great start. From 35, we have 25. I uh, felt like I was really ready to play, and then I got here, and I don't know, felt a little bit off, or, you know, I'm not sick or anything, but just like a little bit tired or whatever. But I want to tell you about one funky Raz hand. It was really goofy uh, against Brandon Shaq Harris and Scott. So I limped in the one hole with three up, and I had five nine in the hole. No, not many, the only two little cards behind. Scott, Scott, oops. <laughs> Scott has an ace, and he just limps. When he does that, I don't really give him like a really strong hand ever. He's always gonna raise my limp. And then Brandon Shaq Harris is the bring in with a 10. On fourth street, the 10 catches a 10. I catch a king and the ace catches an ace. So I'm like, I have the best three card here. Let's just fucking bet. I bet they both call open aces and open tens. Make a long story short, because I bet every street. By sixth street, my board was three, king, four, 10. Okay, against aces and threes board. He's got, he aces caught three, three. And then Brandon Shaq Harris had 10, 10, 8, queen. 10, 10, 8, queen drawing to a 10. I have a 10. I bet he called. And then, of course, I bet dark on the river with the 10, 9, hoping that, you know, he doesn't make a better 10 or that I make, if he does, I make a 9, whatever the case may be. I bet in the dark, he called me in the dark. He didn't even need to see the last card. He was fucking committed with that queen. Ah, I got to call Dines. And he made a fucking better 10, and I didn't make any, I didn't make a 9, so I lost that pot. A little goofy, you know, but hey. Uh, yeah, like I said, sometimes you go in there. I thought I was I was ready, and I just feel a little bit off. But uh, I'm gonna get some nourishment, get some food in me, maybe have like a little detox tea, mm -hmm. calm the tummy. I don't know. We'll see. I'm having one of those. I told him he couldn't win because he was drawn to this. <laughs> I was like, you can't win because I already have this. Deuce to seven triple draw. So I can't win. And then I was like, oh, no, wait, but he could catch a deuce. He did it. All right, <laughs> rebuy. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, this is what happens when you rebuy. You go to the rebuy guy at the end. He's hanging out here by himself, just chilling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him these three cards, and I'm going to ask him if he'll give me, like, a lucky one this time because the other one was a shit table. I didn't win enough pots. Can I oh. pick a card, any card? Uh, Yeah, pick a just card. Just a lucky card. Let's go with the middle again. Yeah, 5032. All right, let's mm -hmm. see who we get. That's over there. Let's see. Five, there you go. Two. Good luck. Here we go. Thank you. I don't need that shit. Okay. All right, let's go. 503C2. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. What are these people? Who are these people? I don't know these guys. This looks better. Are you guys good? All of you? <laughs> you're good. I remember you're good. And you're good. Are you good too? I've never played. That's fantastic news. Yeah, it's so hard when everybody's Nobody, good. Oh, we're making it to the ball. Are you good too? No. I'm good. And you? Amazing. I'm amazing. Fuck. Makes it tougher. All right. New stack. Fresh. 35K. Oh, pull it too. Huh? All right, Alan. Important question. What's bothering you today? That he's stuck this, in the seniors tournament and he wants to play this. This idiot talked me into playing the seniors tournament for the very first time. But he's got 100. You'll start okay, with 20. Okay, so, so you're upset because... He's got 5x to, starting stack. No, That's why I wanted to play this tournament. I only have one more hour to play in the other tournament. Wow, man. Hey, you had some tweets that were... You seemed upset about something. Well, he starts with 20. He's got 100,000. That's not enough for him, you know? In a senior term, it's five years. Well, you couldn't play because you can't get up at 10 a.m. We know. Even all he's right. a favorite. So that's it. That's all, you're, that's, all that's bothering you. Uh, there were two major things that I tweeted about yesterday. What was it? I can't remember. Major things? Yeah. Wasn't Burger King this time. No. Wasn't Ice remember. Water. No. There was a line issue. He's Somebody played a hand oh. terrible. No, I remember now. So 
I go, there's a huge line to, to swipe for the uh, fast track. Yeah. The thing doesn't print. It says go to the window. Yeah. And they'll print your ticket. So I wait through the whole line that I was going to try to avoid. Right. Yeah. I go to the front of the line and I say, look, I have plenty of money on my account. I have plenty of money on me. I want to just pay the thousand dollars. Yeah. So she says, fine, you can pay the thousand dollars, but you still owe the three dollars for using the fast track. So. Un fucking real. That was. That's. I don't even care about the three dollars, but you do. The fact that they can charge you three dollars. <laughs> but you do. <laughs> you clearly do. Ticket. You clearly do. <laughs> All right. Kessler <laughs> Corner, everybody. All right, continue. So you had one more. No, yesterday, this dealer, his name is Sammy, complete jerk. Anyway, there's an open for 2200 and the guy over here makes it 5000 even. And the original guy that opened for 2200 goes all in. So the dealer, uh, the, the, the guy that's calling says, how much is that? And instead of just saying it's whatever, 19,000 something, the dealer takes the 5,000 chip from this guy, takes the 5,000 chip from the other guy, puts it in the middle, and he says, it's 14,300 more to call. So basically the guy is now looking at a middle of 14,000, and the other guy's stack of 14,000, and the dealer is basically saying, look, if you call, you're getting two to one on your money. Like, oh, thing, he didn't actually say, say that. that. No, he didn't actually oh. say it. He just, he restaged, I call it restaging the pot. All right. The so you, got, you were going to fight him. No. Yeah, I said, that's ridiculous. So you, you can't be doing that during the hand. I said, I've been here one month. Nobody's ever done that to a pot since I've been here for Un one month. fucking real. So the guy starts, like, being rude to me <laughs> and, like, being argumentative. And he says, like, I'm the dealer here and all this other stuff. And, uh, and we, what's the thing on your head right now? We were no, asking. I don't know what that is. You don't even know. Nobody knows. No, but Lisa Hamilton gave me like some cream the other day to put okay. on. Well, good luck with that. Back to the hand. Here we go. Omaha 8. I'm going to bet. I just brought him a big winning hand with enough flush. I'm going to bet. All right. Bet 1,200. <laughs> okay. So we're playing 6 max PLO. Right? Remember what I was saying earlier? Well, I don't have quite that. Okay. I'm, a, I'm just going to. What do you got left? All right. Just put it all in. Okay. Remember how I said every time in this spot. I don't have an ace this time. They always have aces. Do you have aces? Oh, God. He has at least one. Yeah, he has the aces. Of course he's got the aces. Do you have the clubs? No. <laughs> I Please. can't tell you. I've never played kings when someone no doesn't king. have aces. Who's got diamonds? diamonds? Nobody? What the hell is this? I need a jack or a, a king. Too. Oh, boy. I need a jack. All right. Double. Good for you. It's unreal. I Like, every time in PLO I have kings, cases. somebody has aces. Six max. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, good for God, you. Daniel's chips. <laughs> All right, we got gifts from Felipe. He brings nice. gifts as always. Of course. All right, new All gear. The collection for you. Very All nice. The for you. Poker, right, play poker, have fun. Minutes, like Sexy. Right, there we go, you, poker man. lifestyle. We got all the things. All right, we're gonna go on break here, and we're gonna tell you how things are going. Good luck, buddy. All right, last break of the night. Last break of the night. Mindset's not there. Dang it. I have thirty thousand. Start with thirty-five. So basically, starting stack went up and down a little bit. Just lost a triple draw hand. Uh, but yeah, you know, mindset's not there. I'm in an antsy mood where like, you know, I want to just get it in kind of thing, which is not ideal, right? But it's gonna happen sometimes in the World Series. Like I said, I thought I went in fresh, but uh, upon reflection, when I sat down, it wasn't there. So who knows, you know? We got two hours, we could get lucky, we could spin it up, but it has not been my best performance. And you gotta be honest with yourself, you know? Like sometimes, you know, you know, when you play good and you lose, so, you know, it happens. But, like, there are other times where you just, even if when you win, where you did not play well. And I don't think I've been sharp today, to say the least. So, I don't know. We'll see if we can turn it around this last two hours. If not, yeah, not. <laughs> all right, no limit hold them. We're all in for 40000 It's up to this gentleman. He opened for thirty-eight. Put in 40k. Show the people. That's my hand. No limit hold. We doing it? We're gonna do it. Okay, you got a pair, right? No. Oh, that's good for me then. <laughs> good deal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay ace check. Alright. That's good oh, for you. Nine will chop it. I'll take a nine. That's Six. good for you. Queen, That's good for you. All right, I'll take it. All right, people, we're done. And somehow I got talked into driving this fucking guy home. I didn't actually volunteer. He just nope, told nope, me I was driving home. With you. This is how it goes. So here's the deal. I did not play well. 
uh, I just couldn't fold. Didn't matter what, but luckily I somehow ended with 62,000 on the day, uh, which is more than I probably deserve. Thankfully, my, my opponents are not so good. How much did you bag? 155. 155. Okay, so here's the deal. Tomorrow, hopefully we get a good night's rest uh, and are fresh and ready because we got big ones coming. You got the 10K, six max, then you got the triple draw 10K, then you got the 50K. So no, you know, we gotta be, we gotta be ready. We gotta get in gear, get some good sleep. Eventually, whenever the fuck I get home, who knows? Cause this guy lives in Lake Tahoe or some shit three hours from here. <laughs> all right, people, that's the end of a vlog. By the way, just so you know, I shot all that shit already. Forgot to press record, <laughs> so I had two. to do it again. Take that was two. all take two. <laughs> all right, people, see ya.